So in the last couple of years, it looks like Y2K logos have come back and are trending. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, they're logos from the early 2000s that look like this. They use really big, sort of rounded, exciting type with neon colors and little spot elements like stars and things like that. So today I'm gonna teach you how to make a logo just like that using Kittle. And what's even cooler is that we have a whole little section of little elements to help Help you do that and to help us do that in this video so let's go ahead and get started but real quick if you would do me a quick favor and hit that red subscribe button it would mean a lot and that way you don't miss any upcoming tutorials like this one and if you don't have Kittle go ahead and use the link sign up for free and then follow along with this tutorial so let's dive in so to get started with our Y2K logo design, we are going to add some text. So over here in the left panel, boom, I can add some text. And one of the main things for these Y2K logos is having big, bold, exciting, kind of loud type. And so we're going to make this all caps. And a lot of times they'd be on an angle or slanted or italic. Now, we don't have italic for every single font, but you can use this angle transformation like I've done here. I can confirm this, and then I can use the little wheel down there in the bottom to turn it. So if I grab this little wheel in the bottom, I can turn this to make sure that it's back straight and it looks like that oblique style. I can turn on the grids here and I can easily turn it to match up with the top of one of those grid lines so that I know the top of my text is straight. And so we're going to start with this. I think this looks pretty good. Let's size it up a little bit so that we can see what we're doing. And then we'll get started with our effects. So one of the things that Y2K logos are going to have, especially in the typography, is the shadow. And then we're going to have this kind of outer width around it so if I add the outline width here the outer width boom I can change the color and we're gonna go for a purple so let's pick this kind of neon -y purple a lot of Y2K logos are gonna use this neon color and then I want the inside to be white I want it to be loud I want it to show through really easily and then one of the tricks we can do is decrease letter spacing here in the midst of the middle of these letters so that they touch I kind of want this to touch and so what we can do is of course we can play with the letter spacing to to get it to where we think we want it. But another way we can do it is just add more outline width. And so I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's go back to effects and let's increase the outer outline or the offset path, if you will, for you <laughs> Adobe Illustrator fans. It's basically like a perfect uh, offset path outside here. And so let's duplicate this. And then we are going to use our second text, which is works, so orbit works. And you might get this little error here. Sometimes the path won't fit all of the text. It's okay, we just need to decrease this uh, size of the text here. And then we can easily scale it back up. We can just drag it back up to the size that we want it. I think this works really nicely here underneath it. And we have this top right space, which is empty right now, but it's okay because we're gonna add an element. Over here in the elements, if we go over to the right side panel, which says abstract, we can scroll down and we actually have a new whole system for Y2K elements. We have a new panel for just Y2K elements, which are so cool. We have all these little stars. We have these orbit rings. We have globes. We have like lava DNA looking splurges, all these little sharp corners and things like that. So let's use the globe here. Our orbit is in the name here. So we're going to use something appropriate. Right click, send to back. And then what we want to do is change our colors. I want the orbit to be, I want the globe to be purple, of course. And then we need to work on our sizing just a little bit. And then what we can do is really cool is we can also add a weight to the outside. Border weight here, change it to purple. And I want it to be the same. You see this T right here? It's a good representation. I want it to be about the same thickness of that. Uh, the top of the T, which is basically the top of all letters, of course, uh, here. We want it to be the same size. So now let's add a star here, give it some border weight, change our colors. We want to make sure that they match. And boom, I think this is looking cool. And then we can place our star where we want. Let's add an orbit ring right here, which is really cool. And we'll change the direction of that, turn it around, make it the purple. And this is such a cool way to get a Y2K logo style. Let's, let's decrease the size of these little elements because I want the type to really speak loudly. And that's how you can easily do a Y2K logo in Kittle, but let's do another example. Hey, real quick, if you're getting value from this Y2K logo tutorial, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button and that red subscribe button. Then let me know in the comments, what are you gonna use this Y2K style logo for? Maybe you are starting an apparel brand or maybe you need a camera tag or something like that. Whatever it is, let me know. I'm interested to know how you're gonna use this logo. So comment below and then let's get back to the tutorial so 
Now let's add some more text and we're gonna go a little bit of a different route. We're not gonna use such heavy drop shadow per se. We're gonna do something different. So let's pick a different cool looking type and then we'll type in DNA. This font, for example, I think it's, it's better for this case if we use the uppercase. And then we need to size it up so we can see what we're doing. Of course, put it on an angle again so that it looks like that oblique kind of italic style. Turn our grids back on and then shift this so that it's straight. We need the top of our letters to be straight here along the side of that grid line. And I think that is where we need to start with. So now what we can do is change uh, the color of this text. We're going to go for a neon blue. I think that will be really cool. Uh, for this go, we use neon purple already. Let's go neon blue, something like this feels right. And then what we can do is we can go over into our background. I want to change this so you can see what's going on here. So gray is fine. Let's go over to text effects. We'll add the, the block shadow, but turn it off. Um, so we're not going to use the offset. Let's use the width here, the outer width here, and we are going to change it to white again so you can see what's happening. We're going to decrease our letter spacing so to, to an appropriate feel. And then what we're going to do is duplicate that labs. I'm going to use a different font here for this one because it's kind of not, it's not the main focal point like DNA is, but I want them to match like this. And now what I'm going to do is duplicate the words DNA and lab. So let's duplicate the word DNA. And as you can see down here, it says headline. And now that I've duplicated it, I can go over here and I can increase the outline width again like this. But if I change the color, it gives me a double outline effect. Isn't that cool? So we just duplicated it. Of course, if you changed your text, you would need to change both of them. So if you change it to say something else, you would need to do that as well. So let's do the same thing for labs. Okay, so we've done the same thing for labs here and we can increase the outer uh, weight again, change it to blue so that it matches. And now we'll need to in, we need to change the inside weight here. It's a little bit too intense. The white there is a little bit too intense. So we can just decrease that till a point that makes sense. And then that feels pretty good. So we can just move that down. We need to group them together. So let's group the DNAs together and the labs together. You can hit Command or Control G and you can group things together. So that way, if you select anything, you can select them together and they won't move. So labs, boom, I can move it down easily like that. So let's go add some elements. I think what's going to be cool for this one is this kind of lava lampy DNA looking splurge looking effect here, which I think is going to work perfectly for this logo. Now we can add a secondary one right here to continue adding to it to make sure that it looks connected and it fills the whole background of our type here. And so I think that looks pretty cool. And that is a great way to get a different style of the Y2K logo. Now I'm going to zoom through a couple of other options. We're going to go with Disco Girls. I'm going to create a second. Uh, I'm going to use a separate separate font for the bottom of this. So Disco Girls. And one thing I just want to note is that they're going to use, of course, they're going to use spot elements, but they're going to use neon colors, right? So we have this black and white or, uh, or white or black with neon colors. And this green is a great example. They're very vibrant and they're easy to see. Now, what I'm doing with this block here is putting it in the back because sometimes you won't have space that fills all of the text. Let's show another example. So let's use this kind of stretched orbital, you know, uh, globe here, for example, and we're going to use orbital world is very fitting. Uh, and so I've got a couple, we've got many fonts in here, a couple that are going to work perfectly for this Y2K style. And so again, with this shape, I'm adding it to the back of the text to fill all of these spaces that are either like white or yellow or doing something weird. And that's a really great way because this is going to be whole one piece. And then we can add some stars like that and we're ready to go. Now, here are the examples that I've made. You can see them a little bit closer. And so I'm hoping you see the capabilities with Kittle for making Y2K logos. And I hope you have a ton of fun with this. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, let me know in the comments below. Now, if you want to see other typographic style designs and logo advice, you can hit these videos or playlist on my right. I know you're going to enjoy them. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, create magic.